Hi guys, my name is Spencer. Welcome to my channel, Sphinx Reads, and today I will be doing the booktube newbie tag. So for those of you who don't know, the booktube newbie tag is kind of a tag video that you make when you're new to booktube or when you make a YouTube channel where you talk about mainly books and book, do book reviews, reading vlogs, and things like that. So I'll be answering 10 questions so that you can get to know me more and what I can contribute to the booktube community. So question number one is why did you start this channel? So I started the YouTube channel earlier this year where I just kind of talked about, I guess, my life and some random stuff I was interested in. And then since I love to read, I kind of wanted to talk more about books on my channel. But then as I created more bookish content, I realized I wanted to keep these um, two interests of mine separate. So here we are. I've also started watching booktube last year and there are just some books that I want my favorite booktubers to read and I want to hear their thoughts on it but I realized that they probably won't be reading those books anytime soon and so I wanted to kind of contribute like what my thoughts are on certain books and also there are certain books that are reviewed here on booktube that I kind of have different or unpopular opinions about and I wanted to be able to kind of contribute my opinions to the booktube community. Question number two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I think booktube has become so diverse at this point that I don't think I, there's anything really specific that I can bring into booktube. I guess one thing is that I really love to read probably more than I love books. Like yes, I love owning books physically, but even if I don't like a certain book, I still enjoy the experience of reading it. That said, I'm not going to be doing a lot of the things that you commonly see on booktube such as like book hauls or unhauls or bookshelf tours just because I don't own a lot of books physically and just because I want to talk more about the reading experience and the actual content of the books as opposed to like the covers or things like that. Although that may change, I don't know. Also, I just want to be really real and authentic when it comes to my videos. Like as you can tell, like my background is not like super aesthetic. I have like peeled paint over here, but I just want the focus of my videos to be on the actual content of books. Kind of going along with that, as you can tell, this video is in black and white and that's because I want those who are maybe having second thoughts about starting a booktube channel to actually just do it. You don't have to have a really aesthetic bookshelf in your background or anything like that. As long as you're just sharing your love for books and what you're experiencing as you read, that's kind of the main message that I want to get across here. I'm also a Filipino. I don't know exactly how that's going to affect my reviews and ratings and things like that, but I guess in a way I could provide like a Filipino perspective on the books that I read. I also really want to raise awareness about the fact that we don't have very good libraries here in the Philippines. Whenever I see memes on the internet about how books are expensive and I see people comment, well, that's why you have a library so that you don't have to spend a lot of money. I don't think people realize that there are a lot of countries like the Philippines where people don't have very easy access to books. And so reading becomes an expensive hobby unless you have a lot of friends that you can borrow books from. And I believe that reading is such an integral part of one's education that it should not be an expensive hobby. Also, I think my mood changes a lot. I've seen that when I've made videos before where some videos I'm like super enthusiastic where other videos I'm just kind of like super chill. But at the same time, I think I'm very self-aware that when I don't enjoy a book, I kind of know exactly why I didn't enjoy the book, regardless of whether that's the book's fault or the author's fault or whether it's my fault. So question number three is what are you most excited for about this channel? I'm kind of nervous that this is not going to happen. I don't know how soon or how late this is going to come for me, but I'm really excited to be just part of the booktube community. I'm excited to get to know more people and just share my love for books because honestly, I don't have a lot of, I guess, like real life friends that share my love for books. Question number four is why do you love reading? This is going to sound cheesy but I just really love reading for the entertainment value, the educational value. Also I think my mind just works faster the more I read which I really like. Like for example if I read a book and then study afterwards my mind is just really alert. I also really love reading because it helps me develop empathy for other people. So I think reading exposes you to different ways of thinking and communicating with people. Like even if an author misrepresents a certain type of personality or a certain group of people, you still get to know how that author thinks and what they think of that kind of personality or group of people. And I just love learning about people in general. Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? As a kid, I read the Chronicles of Narnia multiple times, but I think it was really Inkheart that got me into becoming committed bookworm and just developing more of a love of books. Question number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I doubt any of them will see this, but here we go. Murphy Napier, what impact has reading had on your relationship with your family? I'm a huge fan of Murphy and I just have so much respect for her. And I love how much she talks about her family here and there on her channel. So I'm curious to hear what her response would be. Jesse the Reader, what was the turning point for you to become a more confident booktuber? If you've seen Jesse the Reader's earlier videos, like he has changed so much 
from when he started out booktube to where he is now and I'm just really curious how that transition or that growth happened. Read with Cindy. How have you been able to achieve a balance of analyzing stuff really well but also having a good sense of humor? I'm asking this because I think a lot of booktubers, they're either really analytical to the point that they're boring or they're really just like all over the place and crazy that you don't even understand anything anymore. And to the rest of the booktube community, how much does your reading affect other aspects of your life? If you have any answers to any of those questions, really feel free to leave a comment down below. Question number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I just think being public provides an avenue for people to give you more feedback. And obviously there's going to be some good feedback and more critical feedback. I guess I'm just a little scared that the negative feedback will get to me first before the positive feedback comes. Also, I tend to be kind of a go-getter, so I'm afraid that maybe in the future I'll feel more self-pressure to keep uploading new content to the point where it isn't enjoyable anymore. The reason I created this channel is because I just love to read and if my love for reading diminishes because I hate creating videos about it, then it would have defeated my initial purpose. Question number eight is when did you start reading? I think I was around eight or nine when I actually started loving reading. Question number nine is where do you read? I almost always read in bed because the moment I read, especially for entertainment, like at a table like or sitting down, this feels like a formal dinner to me and I don't enjoy it. Also, I read mostly digitally now, almost exclusively digitally. Number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Statistically speaking, I read mostly middle grade fantasy or young adult fantasy, but since I love reading in general, I enjoy reading from different genres, maybe except for romance. I don't love romance as much as a lot of people, but other than that, sci-fi, dystopian, classics, contemporary, I, I'm pretty open to reading. And those are the questions for the booktube newbie tag. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to chat with me in the comments. I'll be uploading my reading plans for the year 2021 pretty soon and I'll have it linked in the description as soon as I have it up. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and please forget to subscribe so that you can remember to do it later. Have a great day.